Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Tamaria Lakay and I go by Tamaria Lakay on all of my social media platforms. So feel free to follow me on whatever platform is your favorite. Today we're going to be jumping into some energies and some messages from the divine for a particular zodiac sign. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the dice and we're going to pick a zodiac sign. This is the zodiac sign dice. And then we're also going to take the dice that's a number and we're going to use this number to determine how many times we'll shuffle the energy of the cards we're going to do just a general <laughs> we are going to do just a general reading so we're going to do a simple three card layout take what resonates with you and leave the rest at the door so yeah one more thing before we jump into it at the end of the video i do want to leave on a positive note so we're going to do a mindful collective daily affirmation card just for you to reflect on throughout the day so yeah let's just go ahead and jump into the video divine who do we have a message for today all right so tours and four keeps popping up i've already done tours but jesus that one and the number four keeps on popping up all right so we've done sagittarius already sag again taurus again Scorpio I am looking for Virgo I am looking for let's see Capricorn I'm looking for let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten who else do we have so Capricorn Virgo and then there's two others that I haven't done as well Libra, we've already done. All right, so we have Capricorn and then we have 10. All right. All right, Divine, so please help me to channel a message of inspiration, of guidance from Pure Intentions for our Capricorns today. All right, and since it is a 10 card shuffle, I do understand if you wanna go ahead and fast forward and get directly into the message. But let's just go ahead and proceed. Right, so let's see what messages we have for our Capricorns today. Hmm. All right, Capricorn. 
So this card was the first card in my last reading for Aquarius. Basically, it's the Five of Swords. So with this Five of Swords energy, you could be feeling some type of mental defeat. You could be feeling like very challenged. You could be feeling mentally wounded. It could be from, there's two people walking away, so it could be from some friends, it could be from families, it could be from a relationship, it could be from a number of things. However, the overall energy in this card is just feeling defeated. It's a, it's a mental feeling more than something that's actually based in reality. So although you may be feeling mentally defeated, you still have the opportunity to turn the tables into something that could be favorable into something that could be favorable for yourself in whatever the situation is so it just really depends on how long you want to stay stuck in this mentality of feeling defeated all right so capricorn let's just go ahead and move on to your second card and see the energy that it's pulling all right capricorn so this card was also in another reading it's coming out completely the same that's weird but it's the the eight of pentacles basically capricorn this energy is showing that you are wanting to start working on something or you have been working on a skill a skill that you are really ready to perfect you've put a lot of hours you put a lot of hard work into making sure that it's going to be right. It's something that you want to do not only just for material gains, but something that's also going to serve the community. It's work that you enjoy doing because it's work that you find purposeful. So whatever you're working on Capricorn, just continue to do that and just know that the hard work and the skills that you're putting into this project or this situation be it education or creating a craft or just starting something new that there should be success centered around it as long as you're putting the efforts and also the work that needs to be put into it in order to to reach that level of success all right so capricorn let's just go ahead and get into your last card right so for your last card we have the ace of wands so the ace of wands is just showing that things are on the up and up it it is showing that there are new beginnings starting that you have new ideas that you're ready to venture and start off all right capricorn so this ace of wands is basically the divine coming down and handing you some sort of idea some sort of project to begin on you could be in an energy where things are becoming to be on the up and up after you know letting down your guard mentally this also signifies sexual energy so you can have a very high sexual energy right now as well capricorn overall with this ace of wands and the complete reading it looks like things are working out for your greatest good so just stay on a positive note and just know that you have the fire energy within here because fire is the wands you have the earth pentacles which is or you have the earth as well which is the pentacles and then you have the swords so once you put all of this together you would be able to create whatever it is that you are hoping to manifest into a reality so just know that if you had some type of roadblock while creating what it is that you're working on that the divine is handing you the opportunity to go and start new so whatever has failed you have the opportunity to go and start something new that would be successful so that is the energy i have for you capricorn let me go ahead and pull an affirmation card for you as well all right this one popped out 
it says, I trust the universe is always 10 steps ahead of me. I trust the universe is always 10 steps ahead of me. I trust the universe is always 10 steps ahead of me. All right, Capricorn, so that is the message and the energy that I'm pulling from the cards. I hope you were able to find this helpful. If you were, go ahead and give this video a like. Also, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of your future messages. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.